So, hey guys, Kyra here with a quick video just breaking down where to find the Sandstorm Golem. Also, why you need even need to get him. Mainly, it's going to be giving you an extra node in this section of the game. It gets you the extra resistance node. It will say you need to be able to beat him. And I think if the game doesn't do a really clear way of being able to show you where he's at. And how you can find him is going to be in this section of the game here. He's in the library of Zoltan Cool. And then how he actually spawns, he's not like the other ones where it will actually announce on the map and he has a set time. It's actually triggered by people playing the game and there's books on the ground and you'll see that you're zero out of five on books and you need to find these golden books that are on the ground. And when someone triggers it, it's either they get a little dungeon or they're going to trigger a big boss. So there's either the golem there or there's another world boss that's also important you need to kill. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to be able to do both of them. For me, the I think that sets it up so you can understand what's going on here. So let's get to the rest of the footage. Okay, so here is the sandstone golem. We made it. Someone got lucky with the pages and was able to proc this. And if you did not understand how that works, you in this section in the library, you can gather these books. And then instead of getting a different um, little dungeon you do, it will spawn a boss, whether it be the Hydra or in this case, the sandstone golem. And so that's why he was able to spawn. And then um, this happens periodically. It's pretty rare. Um, I This is the first time I've ever seen the standstone golem, so I figured I would record it and kind of show you guys if you guys haven't seen him and if you're curious on what he is because he also unlocks a part of the game for you um, in getting a uh, extra stats. And I'll show up on the screen what I'm talking about, what part of the game. I forget the name of it, but it's um, you need to be able to beat world bosses to unlock certain sections of this, and this is one of them. So people are probably going to be wondering what the hell sandstone golem is, and this is what he is. He's a world boss, pretty rare in the library and here's how to beat him and i believe you need hell one difficulty to be able to get this this is hell two difficulty um one of the benefits of hell two difficulty is it's not nearly as populated so we can actually do stuff like this and um you know no one's gonna you know fight you over it but as you can see here guilt of the nameless this is that token i'm talking about boom here it is gained guilt of the nameless and then now that will complete that was the last one i was looking for on this guy and be able to actually put that in. I believe it's either resistance or um, potency is what it's gonna give you. So it's really not the most important thing. There's probably bigger priorities out there, but it's still nice to be able to get it and understand how to get that uh, for you. So I figured I would show you what I'm talking about here. So I'll just show the whole way to it. So it's this sanctum. You're gonna go to this guy right here and this is how you unlock it. If you've never seen how these get unlocked, all of these, like this was a boss, um, like pretty much all of these require bosses, the, except the first couple of them, I think are, are locked automatically, but then most of them need a world boss. For example, like this one in particular needs the, the eight man raid to be able to do. Um, this one needs the uh, guilt of the name of, so we'll place this guy. And then now it finally completes that. And then since this has never been leveled, it only takes 10 to upgrade. So we'll catch this up with everything else. So it can actually get some resistance here. So it's actually a decent amount of resistance. This is going to affect the duration of debuffs. Uh, so probably it could be pretty useful in PVP, I could imagine, um, be the way to go when it comes to resistance, making sure you have this so you don't get CC'd to oblivion. Um, but if they just beat your, po oh, if they have a ton of potency, then it's not gonna really matter. So that's actually gonna do it for this video. You guys have a good one, peace.